It's Zap from Road Bike Action, and today we're at the 8th Annual North American Handmade Bike Show in Sacramento, California. And within a couple of minutes, we're going to walk through these doors and see some of the most beautiful handmade bikes you've ever seen in your life. So stay tuned. Hey, our first stop today is with Victoria Cycles, and I'm here with David, the owner and builder, and we're going to find out a little bit about his bikes. David? Hi, Zach. Pleased to meet you, man. Try and do like a retro flare to my bikes, and yet with all the modern conveniences, disc brakes, all those things that uh, make riding enjoyable today. Tandem here is built for a couple in Brockenridge, Colorado, that really enjoys the sort of a cross type bike that they can do on dirt roads or on uh, pavement. Okay, we're stopping now at the Calfee booth where there's always more to talk about than anyone has time to uh, show on film, but we're here with Michael Moore today. Yeah, thanks, Zap. So this is a culmination of all of our best practice. It's our Dragonfly Road Geometry, which we call Pro. It features the complete internal integration of uh, Shimano Electronics. We have actually modified the handlebar, the stem, the steer tube of the fork to route all the electronic wiring inside. Okay, so after the carbon fiber dragonfly and of course the beautiful bamboo bikes that Craig's famous for, uh, Michael today is showing me this great new rendition of uh, a Greg LeMond bike, which in, for history buffs will know that Craig Calfee was the guy who was responsible for putting the first real full carbon tube frame bike uh, in the Tour de France long before carbon became fashionable. This bike is our Tetra tube set. The Tetra tube set is the longest continuously produced uh, model of carbon fiber bicycle frame in the world. We've been doing it now for 25 years. This particular bike features, instead of our normal road geometry, it features our adventure geometry, a little bit longer, making way for, making room rather, for wider tires and fenders if you should like. It's kind of a nod to the old, but it also shows a lot of the new. And this has a complete internal wiring system featuring again the Calfee power post, so the internal battery, the external charging port for Shimano Di2 Altegra. Okay, so as you can already see, uh, the, the show hall is, is just filled, chock full of the, some of the most beautiful bikes. And the great thing about the Handmade Bike Show is that in its eight years, it's always been open to the public. And that runs completely contrary to the big bike show in Las Vegas each year, Interbike, where the bike industry is still too full of itself to actually engage with the public who they expect to buy their bikes. So here, you get a first-hand look at the bikes and the people who build the bikes themselves. And each year, the show goes, goes from city to city. And they haven't announced yet where the show's going to be next year, but... Uh, Wherever it is, you have to make sure you're there because if you love bicycles, you'll love this show. Hey, so now we're with the Sarto booth. Sarto is a small Italian builder outside of Venice, Italy. But right now I'm with Marco. And Marco, tell us about this DeLorean bike that's now with the Sarto brand on it. Sarto can uh, build uh, frames and bicycles of any material, titanium, steel, and carbonium, which is the one that uh, we use uh, the most uh, right now. This is an example of a steel bike. We have um, a joint venture with uh, the DeLorean, the famous uh, Back to the Future uh, car. We uh, try to uh, replicate uh, the style of DeLorean on this uh, beautiful bike. We will offer initially the Alfine, but we understand that the Alfine will be uh, updated to electric in the near future, so this bike will become uh, an electric uh, uh, bike to complement the electric uh, DeLorean. Hey, so now we're over at the Brooks booth, and when you talk about handmade bicycle products, Brooks saddles have been being made in Birmingham, England since 1866. Well, yes, I mean, we're, still, we're still manufacturing Brooks saddles in the same old traditional way that we made over the past hundred years or so. We hand beat the, the big couple of rivets down there, as you can see, which is still individually done by hand. A, a different craftsman, you know, hammers, beats down each rivet one by one. So, you know, we, we're, still, we're still using leather, leather product, and it's a really comfortable saddle for when you're riding. You know, the, the leather molds into the shape of, of the rider. We only use a specified piece of leather from a, a, per, a certain part of the animal. And that, that's the, the keystone of owning a Brooks, is that, it wouldn't, you know, you take good care of it and give it a bit of TLC, and it, it will last you for many, 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 many years.
Okay, thanks for following along on day one at the North American Handmade Bike Show. Travis has his time to cut it short so he can go back and make some videos. Make sure you uh, follow along at roadbikeaction.com and on the Facebook page, and we're going to start posting these videos as soon as possible and come back for day two tomorrow. Sifting through all the things that you might.